Hi, I'm Jarley. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a collective reading for, if you haven't seen the live already, this is about the lightning that we channeled a few weeks ago, a few days ago in the general collective live reading, which is named Lightning Strike. So if you haven't already watched that video, I would recommend you watch that and come back to this. In fact, if you haven't watched any of the lives, I would definitely recommend you looking at some of them coming back to this reading. So we're going to have a look at what that means for you, what that lightning, that bolt out of the blue means for you. Okay. If you are a twin in a twin flame connection, it could be that you and your twin will be having that revelation, that lightning strike, that kind of surprise, that shock. So we've got three piles here. So you need to pick one, two or three based on <clears throat> what you're drawn to. So I'm going to show you close up. If you need time to look, pause the video and I'll show you. Then we'll jump into the reading. OK. OK, so we've got number one. We've got number two and number three pile here. So if you do want more time just to kind of focus in on which card pile you are most drawn to, by all means, take your time. So again, pile one, pile two, pile three, which of these piles you are most drawn to? Okay, thanks. Hi, pile one. If you pick this deck, this is going to be your reading for what surprises are coming your way, what lightning strike, surprise, revelation is coming towards you and all the people around you. So let's have a look. Part one, let's see. What is the revelation? What is the revelation? What is the surprise? What is the revelation, please? Part one. Part one. What is the revelation, please? one wow okay so i don't know if you're working from home or you're debating thinking from working home but we've got the eight of coins here and the ten of cups working on a family so there could be some kind of energy that you have to put into a family situation and or family business home situation we've got the lovers so there could be a shock choice that you're going to need to make in relation to your love life. Um, putting work and energy into something that maybe you thought was a done deal, maybe isn't so done deal. But I think things are going to happen very quickly with this Knight of Swords. It's like one minute you thought there was something very certain and the next minute things are changing. So there could be a secondary option coming in that you maybe didn't expect. What is the lightning, please? What is the revelation? We've got the sun. So there's something, truth is coming to light about a home situation here um, that maybe you didn't expect. This is about a love situation as well, possibly, the two of cups. What is the revelation for part one? What is the revelation for part one? What is the revelation for part one? Three of Wands, so again, there's something about a future here, a choice for the future. What is the revelation for part one? Got four more cards, and then we'll read the energies. What is the revelation? We've got death, so there's a transitional energy, something is being rebirthed, possibly, or paused. It's like there could have been a disconnect and then a continuation. Part one, what is the revelation? What is the lightning? got temperance so there's a healing here someone's working on healing balance and all, I'm also seeing or hearing December so Sagittarius season there's something about Sagittarius season here what is for part ones the lightning please what is the surprise the shock the revelation what is the surprise part ones what is the surprise for part ones New feelings emerging, possibly. Let's have a look. Our ones. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got here the page of wands and the five of coins. Okay, so I think possibly something that you thought was finished may be re-emerging. Okay, so I feel like if you closed out a cycle, closed out um, a love situation, there's definitely, if not now, in the future, there's going to be some re-emergence of the possible feelings of that with the lovers and the three of wands. We've got the knight of swords and death, so it could have been over very quickly, but it could, could be restarting very as quick, right? 
We've also got the Ace of Coins and Temperance here. So again, there has to be a bit of a healing process. So you could be have been sort of put that to one side and thought, right, I'll focus on me, I'll focus on my healing. That's something that I have to do. But I feel like once that the energy has been recuperated, there'll be a re-emergence of this connection, okay? Um, there's definitely some kind of communication coming in here of reconciliation, all right? Because temperance can also be working on reconciliation. And we've got the sun and the five of coins. So someone feels like possibly they were left out in the cold and they want sort of to come back in. But there's a divine timing element here. So as, as quickly as this could have been brought out of your life, this is possibly coming back as quick. So let's pull from the Island Time Wellness for part one. What is, yeah, there's some healing going on here. So we've got healing hearts. So this could have been like closed out very quickly for someone to heal. And then when the healing's over, it feels like this is when it's going to come back in. So we've got healing from heartbreak, freedom from the toxic relationship or addiction. So someone possibly has to decide what they want to do in relation to that. Um, part one surprise, please. Part one surprise. What is the lightning strike? What is the surprise for par ones? So again, we've got a runner here. So again, runner in a codependent relationship. So someone could be transitioning from the runner stage into someone that's a bit more accepting of a connection. Um, it could be that, that that stage is being closed out from this this kind of, like I said, this this energy. Par one, please. What is the the, the revelation, the shock? Part one. Um, we've got I like you. So someone could be confessing their feelings. Someone likes you. Rom romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Um, and again, I feel like someone could be coming forward because they want that kind of reconciliation. And they don't want, maybe before they didn't communicate. And this time I think maybe they will communicate their feelings. Part one's revelation, please. Part one's revelation. Yeah, look, there's going to be some talking here. That definitely I don't feel happened before. And again, this links in with that passionate communication. We've got talking, interested, conversing more, awaiting messages arise, text, call, email. So there's definitely this movement, all right? And then we've got the sun and the five of coins, which is feeling like they're left out in the cold. And then we've got coffin. So this feels like this is moving on to a different stage, which was where that someone was running and then two people parted. There was some healing that took place. Possibly one or both of you thought that this was the end of this situation. Maybe one of you knew something more was going to happen, but you still tried to get on with life. Now, this is phase X, Y, whichever number phase this is. It's like the person that was running is no longer running. They're going to start opening up. Okay, that's the, going to be the shock is that they're going to open up. They're going to express feelings, love, something that is going to probably make you think, oh my goodness, what on earth is going on here? So... Romance Angels. Let's have a look. What else is going on? Par one, please. What is the revelation for par one? What is the revelation for par one, please? What is the revelation for par one? We've got new love. So again, this is a brand new phase coming in. All right. It's like the, the healing's taken place. People are, are going to be you know, moving forward in a connection, all right, par ones, okay, so, okay, so we've got finances and career, so, and this came out with the runner, so it could have been that they were running because they felt like they didn't have anything to offer, all right, and that could have been to do with maybe they thought that this situation wasn't matched, maybe you had made more money than them, maybe their career wasn't as successful or vice versa, so they had to sort that out and maybe while you were healing they were healing the career and finances they've been balancing that out possibly we've got i like you and then we've got heart to heart conversations so honestly discuss your feelings with one another so i feel like we've got a double confirmation of this opening up so that's the shock it's like oh my goodness we're slowly moving forward here we've got talking and then this came out with it forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moment so i feel like there's definitely going to be some conversing about what took place before what isn't relevant what is relevant what happened both sides of the kind of perspective and then we've got the sun the five of coins and the coffin and then we've got healing family issues 
it says the your love life benefits is if you give your parents so this could have been a sort of a wound that this person had from their younger years or maybe through their you know this is could be inner child work that they, they were healing or need to heal um this could have been a pattern of behavior from their upbringing that you know triggered this wound and then therefore that's why they ran before but now they've dealt with that and they've looked at that kind of possible abandonment issue things are balancing out a little bit more <clears throat> and then we've got trust so it's like they're starting to open up they're starting to trust more and then we've also got honeymoon here so enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so you could even be going on holiday with this person when obviously lockdown things um loosen a little bit if there's a distance could be a distance with this connection um bottom of this deck we've got soulmates so there's obviously a strong soul connection here soul connection partnership agreement soul contracts so there's definitely some kind of soul contract you guys have got and the bottom of the deck here is we've got deception so it could have been that this person was talking themselves out of your connection at one point and now they're coming to terms with it so let's pull from more decks so pile ones what is the revelation what is the the lightning strike what is the shock news for pile ones yeah let so they were they were on a break time time for a nap so this was on a, a kind of time out a little bit so people could recalibrate and heal so they could gain some peace within them before the next stage and this i feel that is the next stage this energy we're looking at pile ones what is the revelation, please? The revelation is that it was fated. It was always going to come to pass. We've got <clears throat> observer. So maybe someone was trying to observe their feelings and not get sucked into it before they made a, you know, a sort of a move forward. And then we've got treasure island. So they obviously have come to terms with that this is a very valid, very, very positive connection. And they want to move forward in that. Um... So let's have a look at the angel answers here. Okay, so part one, please. What is the revelation for part one? Okay, so we've got compromise. So there may be some compromise needed here. Maybe one or both of you were still triggered. Maybe that was, again, the need for this break. And then bottom of the deck is can reconsider. So possibly you're re-seeing a situation from fresh eyes after this conversation that maybe you hadn't realized before with this conversation so that's been brought into your you know awareness <clears throat> and then we're going to use the archetypes have a look. okay pile ones please what is the revelation for pile ones what is the revelation for pile ones okay so we've got the orphan and the desert so they could be dealing with very strong abandonment issues here that was rearing their head hence why possibly they were running maybe they didn't want this connection to develop at that point in time because they felt like they were going to be abandoned or things would go wrong and then they'd be left um, we've also got the king so possibility that they were trying to build themselves up without this connection because Maybe they've built more confidence now, and so they're ready to come forward, possibly. We've also got the bridge, so maybe your lives are very, very different, so they're trying to bridge the gap. Uh, maybe the forgiveness and the, the healing that they're going through, that's something that they're trying to sort of bridge as well. And then we've got the nectar, so and that is talking about healing family issues, coughing, um, the sun. So I feel like this is them cultivating self awareness self love so that that this doesn't affect you guys so much and then the bottom of the deck we've got temple so this is the self them building the self up them honoring themselves you honoring yourself then obviously the two energies merging together to build into a healthy union you know um let's have a look let's go with the angels of atlantis here okay so, part one. Oh, that's a book. We don't want that. Part one, please. What is for part one? What is the revelation for part one? What is the revelation for part one? Yeah. 
so it could be that this person's maybe didn't display empathy before maybe now they will because again they've healed so now they can understand other emotions maybe before they didn't you felt that they didn't take you into consideration maybe now it's because they're taking themselves more into consideration that they can take you into consideration so we've got empathy here and look the lotus so there's definitely this evolution all right and that's the lightning strike is that they look like they've been working on themselves part one what is the revelation for part ones and then we've got surrender so they could be trusting the universe a bit more which is why they're trusting you which is why things are coming a bit more smoother and a little bit more together there's a bit more of a cohesion with these two energies um is the oracle of the radiant sun let's have a look part ones what is the revelation for part one what is the revelation for part one so we've got birth so again it could be them having evolved into this energy that you know stripping them of this trauma maybe from a younger age that was maybe triggering them or you know past life that they've rebuilt into this newer energy we've got cancerian so there could have been strong paternal maternal issues maybe they've they've healed something around their childhood around their parents maybe you have that has kind of again is helping this union along um let's have a look what is the revelation for part one what's the revelation for part one So we've got excitement, that's the revelation. So it could be shocking, could be out of the blue. So going from nothing to something, some, suddenly there's movement here. And we've got the I like you heart type conversation is the king. So this confidence being cultivated and then we've got versatility. So it could be that before there was one or both of you that was very kind of hell bent on doing things a certain way. And now they're a bit more open to change, a bit more open to things. Maybe you're a bit more open to things. What is the revelation for part one? What is the revelation? What is the lightning for part one? Okay, so we've got resourcefulness. And that's with talking, forgiveness and learning in the bridge. So it could be that they've, they've got a plan. You know, maybe that they, they, they didn't have that before. They didn't have a direction because they didn't do the healing before. Now they do possibly okay and then we've got isolation so it could have been that they had to put themselves in this isolation energy in order to figure all this out and now they're out of that they can kind of come towards you bottom of the deck is flattery so this could be a bit of an ego death they're going through and so you're noticing that all right maybe that was a prevalent issue before at some point maybe and now is a balance possibly to that all right so let's have a look at the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. Okay, so part one. What is the revelation for part ones, please? What is this lightning? So we've got Spirit of Spring, Freedom, Action, Power. So I feel like there could have been an empowered energy that this person's kind of come into, you've come into, that is able to spring and move this energy along. Maybe before there wasn't, maybe they were at a point where they had to look at their issues and because they've done that, they're now able to kind of move forward. Um, let's have a look at the Oracle, the Keeps of the Light deck. Okay, so part ones, what is the revelation for part one, please? What is this revelation for those who picked part one? Yeah, look. So Gaia, Earth connection. Be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth, stay grounded. So again, it could have been that maybe they were a lot more grounded and they were a lot more in the physical and so they've done a lot more work to tie them into the more vertical plane of, you know, the crystalline grid and, you know, the universal grid um, from the earth to the ethers. And so, the, the, you know, there's a more spiritual evolution they've gone through. And now because they've worked through that, they're able to kind of anchor that into the, the earth and therefore an actual reality 
physical connection between you maybe before they were only solely focused on money or practical issues or maybe you were and now it's swapped over and there's a more balance because again we've got freya cycles and, and phases at the bottom of the deck there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released so again they could be coming out of this illusionary energy where suddenly it's like right now i know what i need to do i need to speak to this person i need to express how i feel I need to talk about things. This was not right. And I know it was. They, there's probably a, a very great, a stronger self-awareness that this person's got, which is why they want to come forward. Um, and they want to explain to you that what they've learned, I feel. That's where I'm looking anyway. Um, that's how they're kind of, the, the guides are explaining it to me. Okay, so final cards for part one. What is the revelation for part one? Final cards for part one, please. What is the revelation? We've got healing here, so purification, Covertina. It says it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. So I feel like this was what they were doing, the healing. And again, Isis past life, so it could relate to past life. The situation involves your past life memory. So again, this is possibly something that may have been linked to past life. Maybe they were orphaned in a past life. Maybe there was some healing that you guys had to go through, which is why this connection now is ready to move forward. Um, final card for part one. What is the shock? What is the, you know, what's the situation here, please? Final card. Par ones, please. Thank you. We've got Cali. Endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. So, guys, this was your reading for what shock situation is, what surprises are coming in that link to your twin or you. Looks like there's some movement forward here, guys. So that was your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Hey, Pile 2, this is going to be your reading on what surprises, what shock is coming in for you. What is it that's going to be um, developing from this possible surprise with you or your twin? This is the Tara Neferati deck. Okay, so if you have obviously uh, picked Pile 2, this is going to be your reading moment so i've just paused it on two two zero two so again twos adding up to six so we've got um taurus and virgo so there could be very strong earth signs here this is also about balance maybe one of you is very balanced and the other one of you needs to come into balance possibly let's have a look okay let's have a look pile two what is the surprise what's the lightning representing for pile twos please what does the lightning represent for pile twos uh, okay we're going to get a few more cards out so we've got the two of cups the five of cups the sun and the knight of pentacles with the nine of wands what does pile two represent That's brilliant. Okie doke. Oh, we've got two here. Perfect. So, that one's there. And we've got the moon. We've got the five of pentacles in the reverse. The two of pentacles, the magician, the five of swords and the queen of wands. With the bottom of the deck is the name of uh, knave of wands. So, we've got the two of cups and the moon here. So, there's some, I feel secrets coming out here about how someone feels. Um, maybe there's some revelations about people's hidden feelings that they weren't quite aware of and it's a shock to them possibly um, there could be intuition that is being heightened that this is kind of really showing energetically what is what um, we've also got here the five of cups with the five of pentacles in the reverse so it could be that they feel regretful here that they may have um, you know left you out in the cold at one point in time or that they've maybe rejected you or you rejected them but there's some regret here there's a bit of guilt possibly that is also kind of with this intuition that's coming to light with you or them that now they're feeling a little bit like oh dear what, what do I do here um you know I shouldn't have done that possibly and then we've got the sun and the two of pentacles so again truth light information uh, awareness um now I don't quite know if they they're ready to kind of put this into actual a reality as to sort of what they're going to do with this information um i don't know if they're i don't know if they're going to be ready to do that you know 
I don't know if they're going to be ready to do that. So, they think it might be too good to be true. And they're, they're aware of how they feel. It's becoming very obvious. But I don't know if they're going to do anything about it yet. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician. So, it could be that they're trying to manifest an opportunity here to offer this, have a conversation, um, bringing this into reality possibly. Then we've got the Nine of Wands with the Five of Swords. So there could be a bit of defensiveness here. Maybe there was arguments between you guys before. Maybe they're not entirely sure how to kind of deal with this. Maybe they're already happy in an existing commitment because we've got the Queen of Wands here maybe they're already happy somewhere else or they thought they were happy and now there's a whole the whole energy reality has shifted and so now they're debating and questioning everything we've also got the knave of wands so there could also be um i think the knave is knight no the knave is the page so they definitely feels like there's going to be communication of some sort here um possibly to figure out what this is all right so let's have a look with the Island Time Wellness for Pile 2, please. What is Pile 2's shock, please? What is the lightning for... What does it mean for Pile 2's? Okay, so we've got cassette. So we've got outdated thinking, conditioning, replay events over in your head. So we've got the moon and the two of cups. So <clears throat> could be that they're going to start looking back and going, oh my goodness, everything's being pieced together. It's like, well, I, I wondered what that meant and I wondered why that happened. And that revelation, that intuition that they're going to get, and the shock is, I think, coming from them, okay? Um, it's about the realisation of the feelings and then thinking, oh my goodness, I've got feelings for this person and I didn't quite realise the extent and now I have to do something about it. Like, now I'm going to have to really deal with this situation and before I'm a bit shocked because I wasn't expecting it to be end like this or to work out like this. Part 2, what does the lightning strike mean for part 2? Part 2s, please. We've got the runner. So with the five of cups, with the five of pentacles in the reverse. So they possibly ran before and they didn't know why. And now they're piecing it together that actually they may have been running because they thought, what happens if I lose this connection? Rather than for any other reason. And I think that awareness may be coming into their mind. Okay. Um, there's a realization setting as to what exactly the bigger picture was and all the information that maybe they'd overlooked before part two's revelation please what is the re revelation what is the shock what is the lightning for part two what does the lightning mean for part two please what does the lightning mean for part two what does the lightning mean so we've got soulmates, we've got the sun and the two of pentacles and we've got soulmates. So there could actually be more than one person involved in this. And so now they have to try and figure out, well, I was with this person, but now apparently I've got feelings with this person. What do I do? So the revelation is, is that now they have to also choose who they want to be with. So we've also got the knight of pentacles with the magician. Okay. And that came out with Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting and hesitation. So it could be that they're possibly trying to manifest an outcome because they don't know how else to do it. Or they're trying to manifest things to become easier because they don't know who to choose. Um, but again, it's like they're going to give that information and that energy to spirit to kind of push that along a little bit. Because at the moment they are definitely... The revelation is that the feelings are here, but oh my goodness, I may be in a relationship or I've got someone else around me or there's something else that is meaning that this is going to be co like complicated. So I'm going to hand this up to spirit now and let them deal with it. And then we've got nine of wands and the five of swords. And then we've also got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So the shock was or could have been that there's going to be a separation with you or this other person that they may be around. So once that's manifested once that's sorted out they have to lose you or another person and that's the shock that's what they are going to come to terms with they thought that maybe before all this that they just lost you but actually they realize that it's it's deeper than that but they have to they have to make a decision they ha they're going to have to make a decision um let's pull a card bottom of the deck is we've got we've got date 
meeting someone new dating getting back out there planning setting a date so it could be that they're going to plan and ask you out to kind of figure out what to do possibly so what is this queen of wands card please for pile twos so again we've got passion so again in the same chemistry like you know they're equally having fun so it could be that they want to explore this a little bit more and then we've got the butterfly which is relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth so again um there's a growth element with this whereas maybe they thought that it, you know they'd put it down and that was it and they're just focusing on one relationship it looks like now this is evolving to something new sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out so they're definitely trying to take in what all this means so they can make a decision so they may be keeping an eye on you I'm not gonna lie uh, to try and figure out how to deal with this but they've also got possibly a situation around them because I've got underneath that is a girl with a snake empath and narcissist paradigm being child will use enable boundaries that um, is possibly you know they're, they're trying to figure out maybe there's a karmic around them that hasn't got so great intention so it's like there's an all change here maybe they felt that they were going to stay with this karmic forever and now because the feelings have become very obvious for you they're thinking well now maybe it's the karmic that's leaving and i'm going to stay in this so they they're trying to decide what they're going to do here so pile two what is the revelation what is the shock what does that mean for pile twos please <clears throat> we've got past life relationships so this definitely links to the past life and then we've got cassette so there could have been a similar situation with the, the players in this situation. So you, them, the karmic. There could have been this in a past life situation. Previously, they could have chosen whoever they're going to choose or whoever, whoever the, the actual twin flame is. The previous lifetime, they stayed with that person. So in this lifetime, they're now going and choosing the other person. So if you know in a past life that you weren't with them and if they chose someone else, this lifetime, it'll probably be you they choose. That's how I'm getting it. Um, yeah, bottom of the deck, could this could be the one. So that's kind of confirming that information. Pile two, what is the revelation, please, for pile twos? What is the revelation? We've got express your love. So again, they were running before possibly, okay, and now they're coming to explain what they feel. They're, they're probably going to open up and sort of say, look, this is this is exactly what's going on here, or this is or hinting. What is pile two? What is it? Um, what's the revelation? What's the shock? Give your relationship a chance. Soulmate. So again, this is where that choice came in, but they probably weren't rely expecting to have to deal with. They probably felt like that was it. You, you know, the situation with you had closed out and now that's done. Um, but now they're, they're thinking, actually, no, there's more to this. I have to make a decision then the current situation. Again, this could be you. Maybe you're in a current situation. You have to choose, take, imply the roles as, as appropriate. Remember, it's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, give your relationship a chance. So again, they're now looking at the bigger picture. Of what, what is this? Is, is this actually, maybe I've got this wrong. Maybe I need to look at this again. What is the revelation for pile twos, please? What is the revelation? And we've got, look, we've got engagement. So <laughs> they're kind of thinking, well, this is what this is leading into. So I choose them or this person and, and whatever that is, you know, developing into, it, it's going to evolve some kind of commitment. So again, bottom of the deck, release the X. So the majority of you, it'll probably be the person that they're around, that they're releasing to come towards you, probably twin flame this is. So let's have a look. What does the revelation mean for pile twos, please? What is this revelation? What is the revelation? And we've got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss and holiday time together. So it may well be that once they've decided, that's it, they're going. There could even be a very last minute engagement that happens. That could also be the revelation for some of you, not all of you. Um, what is Queen of Wands and Passion, please? So again, we've got flirts. There's obviously a very strong connection between you guys. Extend your light, hard energy to others. And then we've got the Knave of Wands and the Butterfly. And then we've got Make the Effort. So there's a different stage coming here where they're possibly making a lot more effort. Maybe they didn't make an effort before. Okay, so Revelations for Pile 2. What is the, the shock? You know, what does that mean for Pile 2, please? What is the shock for Pile 2? 
We've got resistance. So maybe they could have been resisting, acknowledging their feelings for so long and they finally they succumbed to it. Maybe this past life relationship they had, because it says um, was kind of hard for them to, to resolve and deal with, hence why it's taken them so long to understand the connection here. But they are starting to, that's definite. They're starting to, I think it's becoming very obvious, the connection. What does the revelation mean? Okay, so we've got Express Your Love, the runner, uh, the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and then we've got innov Innovation. So I think they know that there's this is new. There's this new energy, this brand new energy here that's between you guys that is spurring this forward. And they know that that was not the case before. It possibly it was a little bit stagnant before, hence why there was a disconnect maybe. What does part it mean for part two? So we've got soulmates, give your relationship a chance, the sun, two of pentacles, and then we've got discovery. So they're definitely wanting to get to know what this is more. They're trying to experiment. They, that's the shot. They want to now understand what all this is and get to know everything a bit more in depth and work out what all this means. And again, make that decision. There's a commitment coming here. So yeah, look, extremism, one extreme to the... The next going from nothing to everything extremism with this cupid's arrow and engagement so it's like now i have to decide and then we've got separation honeymoon five of swords nine of wands with birth so it could be a literal birth um or so maybe you could be even conceiving on a honeymoon and again if that's for that's you know if that's not for you or if you're under 18 then obviously make sure that you're not in a sexual union if that's the case and if you're not able to conceive, then it could just be that you're birthing something new, an idea, a project from the honeymoon. Maybe there's a immediately after the honeymoon or this commitment happens, there's this new idea, this new project, this maybe you're moving or something. There's something new coming in here. It'll be different for everyone. And then we've got passion flirt, queen of wands with versatility. So there's definite movement here that is possibly not going to be expected. And then we've got knave of wands, so communication, butterfly, an evolution of connection with make the effort. And let's see what we're pulling for that one, for pile twos. And then we've got impulsiveness. So there's going to be a very impulsive feel to this. It's going to be, ra I mean, it's going to be shocking. That's how I'm feeling it. So congratulations. Um, let's have a look. So angel answers, pile two, please. What is the, here we go. Wow, this is brilliant energy. Bottom of the deck, we've got a yes, so that's very positive. And then we've got remain positive and abundance. So, I mean, that's insanely positive, isn't it? You know, very, very good energy. Let's have a look. What is the shock for pile twos, please? Again, regeneration here. Things are moving at a very, very good pace here. Possibly unexpected pace that maybe you ruled out cleaning it up so things are being healed things are moving on what is pile two's poised maybe you know you're ready for this and that maybe now they're expecting them to be ready and so they're moving into that energy but they're getting ready let's say bottom of the deck is by the book so i think they want to do this the right way maybe they're closing it they have to they know they have to decide before so i think that's what they're trying to deliberate on how they're going to do that possibly and then again, we've got a change in the wind here. So there's definite shifts and awareness of the physical reality of the players, of, of, you know, what they feel, what they think, what you feel, what you think. There's definite communication and a shift in all of this. Um, yeah, look, how beautiful. Soulmates, how lovely. That's lovely energy. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's pick another deck here. Let's go. I'm feeling something around um, my solar plexus, so there could be a confidence or a willpower issue here. Pay attention for that one. All right, and let's have a look. Pile two. Pile two, please. We've got the moon. Yeah, so we, wow, guys guys um i think it's safe to say <laughs> that what we were talking earlier about a commitment is this is it this this is coming now don't get me wrong that's not going to be immediate it's it's going to be when they make the choice when they finally know what they've decided that's done it's a done congratulations this is done done done, done. finished over 
we've got the forest we've got the forest so there's definite um this breath of fresh air this newness that's coming about but i feel like as well it's this exploration this exploration energy that again it's that new top, like territory that they're kind of looking into here so pile twos what is the shock what is the revelation okay so we've got i've no idea what this is so i'm gonna have to look into this we've got can't even read it thanatos so apparently this is the greek god of death so again it's death and rebirth so it would have been this total transformational energy of renewal it's like the sc very scorpio energy and then at the bottom of the deck is the unseen so again with the energy of the moon which is that kind of illusionary energy and again everything was going on beneath the surface it's like suddenly now it's flowering and there's this growth and this possibility that wasn't now realized and before they know it it's kind of like wow this is again it's going from nothing to something very committed um and then we've got a pocket uh, it says apocalypsis I, I can't say apocalypsis apocalypsis which apparently in greek means revelation <laughs> so it's like oh suddenly there's something here and then in the bottom of the deck we've got something else that i have no idea i'm gonna have to look into this as well amina mundi so that is basically all living things being connected to the earth amina mundi and obviously we had the forest as well which is that growth um now the bottom of the deck we've got the mother so i'm getting very strong pregnancy vibes here it's like engagement and then birth it's like very close together it's like there's going from nothing to suddenly you know they've decided they're engaged and then suddenly there's a birth there's a child on its way it's this is going to happen very quickly um now again if this is you know for a fact this is not going to be a pregnancy for you then just take it as something brand new being birthed from a very deep commitment all right um but again the forest is breath and um, the mother on the bottom of the deck i mean it says it all this is that kind of earth mother it's like this nurturing of this brand new energy here that is huge if i'm totally honest with you very very strong energy coming through here so let's pull the final card for you guys for pile twos what is the revelation because again that was what they were talking about in that card what was the revelation for pile two i mean i think we've kind of had it all here but I think we've, we know the revelation, but let's have a look. What is the revelation coming to you? What is this revelation, this lightning here? Pile twos. Pile twos. Wow, this is insane. We've got the light of hope. Hope gives us positive feelings and energy to accomplish what we desire. So, I mean, look, there's that golden transcendence energy of this whole thing coming into alignment. I've kind of got goosebumps, so I'm not going to lie. Um, this is massive. This is this is a revelation and a half. This is not just a revelation. This is like... I'm kind of... I'm a little bit blown away by this information. But, I mean, congratulations, guys, if this is for you. Um, what an amazing, beautiful energy that was. Oh, my goodness. Bottom of the deck. Celebration. Your spirit needs to play and have fun. I mean, this if this is not celebration, I don't know what is. So guys, this is your reading. Hopefully that's been of some help. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. It means a lot to me. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8pm British Standard Time, 3pm Eastern Standard Time. Make sure that you're subscribed, you're liking and commenting on one video that isn't alive for your chance to win the Taran Ferrati deck in a 30 minute free reading. Catch me Saturday nights on Twitch at 11pm British Standard Time, 8, is it 8 or 6pm? I think it's 6pm Eastern Standard Time. That's going to be Psychic Saturdays. Until next time, guys, have an amazing day, week, wherever you are. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. If you picked Pile 3, this is going to be a reading for what revelations for you or your twin are on their way, what surprises are here, what lightning is going to strike. This is your deck you chose. Um, so let's have a look for you guys. What is the revelation for Pile 3s, please? What is this? 
unexpected situation happening. What is the shock? What is the... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, Pearl 2's just blew me away. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's see, let's see if Pearl 3 has... Let's, it'll be interesting to see. Pearl 3, what is the shock? What is the revelation? What is the lightning strike? What is the surprise of Pearl 3, please? So immediately we've got the Princess of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. What is the shock? What is the surprise for Pile 3? Queen of Cups in the reverse. What is the shock? What is the surprise? The revelation. What is for Pile 3, please? Pile 3s. Pile 3s. Okay. 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 We've then got the Queen of Cups reverse, the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. No, you don't. We've got Temperance. And let's see. Part three. Thank you. And then we've got the Five of Swords bottom of the deck is the ten of cups so that's kind of insane okay so let's have a look we've got the princes of pentacles here and the king of swords in the reverse um maybe you've come to someone here offered something and someone's been a little bit blunt with you maybe there was a very harsh communication that took place here with the princes of pentacles and the king of swords in reverse <clears throat> maybe you confronted and approached them um and then they were not very polite or they ignored it or they were a little bit imbalanced and they didn't care they were just kind of like meh they don't care and if it wasn't you maybe it was them to you okay take the apply the roles and switch them around and again this is a general reading take what resonates leave the rest so there was an energy here of someone giving something maybe it was a job offer and you went no maybe someone gave someone something and it was rejected okay and the person that rejected it was a little bit out of balance the way they did that all right maybe because it meant something to them we've got the ace of swords here and the eight of swords so again there was some communication here but someone was in their head so possibly you communicated something and the person reacted kind of strongly all right um maybe you reacted strongly they reacted strongly but there was a strong reaction and again it was out of fear it was done out of fear because this person was not in the right mindset. They were very protective, very defensive, um, very guarded energy, and they weren't in their emotions, all right? So that caused the other person who offered, because we've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse, to then feel like they were left out in the cold, and it made them emotionally tailspin a little bit because they weren't, they felt like it was harsh. It, they felt like, okay, well, this is a bit much, like... Where's that come from? You didn't need to kind of go to that extreme. So then it kind of kept them out of balance or made them out of balance. And it made, because it made, it triggered something, a rejection in them possibly. Okay. Then we've got magician and temperance. So this original person that's turned this down has then gone, eh -eh. I kind of feel like I need to make amends with this. I need balance, like a spiritual balance. And I want to kind of reconcile this energy, all right? So that's the shock, is that they actually don't want to reject it. They just want to reconcile and get a balance. But whatever you offered them was maybe a bit too soon, or maybe it didn't come in the right energy. Because don't forget, we've got pentacles and we've got swords here. It's a total mismatch in anything, in energy. So you've got one coming with the sun behind them and the one coming that was cold. And so, again, they probably weren't in the right headspace when you came forward, all right? But they want to manifest a balance. They want to manifest a reconciliation and or some kind of balance, spiritual healing, harmony between you guys. Because they acknowledge that this was possibly a little bit harsh. All right. We've got here the Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. So we've also now got a secondary energy that is now very argumentative. Now, it could be a third party. 
where the the reason they were in this King of Swords in the reverse is to defend against whatever energy they're in, which is why the offer that you gave them was rejected because they're probably not used to someone coming towards them in a very kind, gentle manner because whatever energy this is around them with this Queen of Pentacles and the, and the Five of Swords, possibly karmic, it looks like they are in a war zone right there, all right? Now, we've got here Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is all about their emotional bliss, their emotional harmony. So what's happening here is, is that possibly your twin flame or this connection is trying to manifest a union balance between you and this other person, all right? They want fairness for all from where I'm looking. But let's pull the Island Time Wellness and see what our revelations are coming for Pile 3. Pile 3, what revelations are coming, please, for you guys? What is the shock, the lightning? So we've got Ascending, which is Transcending Obstacles, Learning, Expansion, New Phase, Preparing for Union. So again, this is the Princess of Pentacles with the King of Swords in the reverse. So that was... It had to happen where they were rejecting an offer because now they are in a position of thinking, oh, I've rejected something that actually was a good offer. And so it's making them think, which is a good thing. Um, and it's also started this energy now because they want reconciliation and balance into this new energy here. We've also got the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So... The reason they will whip that sword out and are in that kind of very defensive energy is because the energy around them is extraordinarily manipulative. And so they're in that energy with probably everyone. All right. They're probably in that energy with everyone. So that's why they're reacted in this way to you. So what is the revelation with pile three, please? So... You feeling left out in the cold, you feeling unbalanced, you feeling like, you know, there was a rejection. I mean, this is kind of far from the truth because this is, they want, I mean, this is soul connection here and everlasting promise. So this is what they want, but they're probably stuck in a situation that they're trying to get out of, and which is why this is, this imbalance is kind of taking place, you know. Let's see, part three, what is the revelation? What's the shock? So they may have acted like that, but it's not how they feel. It's because they're in this other energy with this very malicious kind of, you know, situation. We've got boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So they're trying to manifest an outcome here because they don't know how to close this out. They don't know how to reach this kind of situation of balance and harmony. And because at the moment there's a lot going on. In their life probably with this karmic energy so pile threes please what is the revelation what's the shock what's the revelation queen of pentacles five of swords please okay we've got coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition so they're trying to come out of a situation possibly with a karmic uh, and that's why they're in the energy reacting to you but actually, it's not how they really felt. It's actually the energy they feel towards this karmic. Um, the Ten of Cups, we've pulled the mirror. It says, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So how they're reacting, is, and then if it's triggering you, is reflecting your own wounds. But it's like, they don't mean it. All right, so not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So they're in this self-sabotage energy here because actually they really want you to stay around them and they want to close out something else, but that's not how this is looking. It looks like they're just pushing everyone away, all right? Because I, I don't know if they know how to deal with this, if I'm totally honest with you. So let's have a look at the Romance Angels. So par three, what is the revelation here? That one flew out. We've got finances and career. So with princes and pentacles, king of swords and reverse ascending, we've got finances and career here. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So the offer you made could have maybe triggered them a little bit because they were like, I'm not in any position to accept anything because my life is a mess. My career is a mess. My finances need to be sorted out. And also I'm in a karmic situation that is busting my backside. Pile three. We've got attraction. Um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this romance fully. So they were, they had this sword out 
because the energy that they're in around this karmic is very confusing for them and so the attraction they feel they can't let their guard down so they're in this weird energy of well i feel really attracted but if i let my guard down then i'm gonna have to let my guard down everywhere and i can't afford to do that so wherever they're at they can't let their guard down all right and so that's why they're interacting with you in this way okay so what is path three's revelation please we've got keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations so again it's like that you are not what they expected you, your connection is like new they they aren't they weren't expecting it so again that's there from their side the revelation is they probably had lost a lot of hope by you coming back it's probably shocked them a little bit um because it says forgiving and learning at the bottom of the deck so they may not have been expecting this offer maybe it came totally out of the blue and so they reacted very badly so for them it was possibly a lightning moment okay so it was for them rather than you possibly all right what is path three's lightning moment please path three what is path three's release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so again they're trying to manifest a closure of the situation around this karma because they can't relax because healing family issues are bottom of the deck so again they're in this healing mode they don't know how to kind of move out of it but they have to close this out because again there's lots of red flags here showing them that they have to leave this the signs are, are telling them to leave you know in order to get into this other connection with you with this ten of cups and the mirror because we've got true love this you know the connection you guys have is real and i think they're starting to become aware of that but i think the reason they reacted so strongly at the beginning was because they were not expecting it and the energy they're in with this other person is making them very defensive so let's have a look pile three please what is the revelation what is the shock yeah so the offer, possibly they felt like maybe they weren't able to trust it. Maybe they didn't want to let their guard down. Maybe they're scared to let their guard down. Because again, maybe once you guys discuss things, because maybe the energy that you came forward in was not right. And they again, it threw them off guard maybe a little bit. Pile three, please. What is the revelation? What is the shock? Pile three. What is the revelation? again they were in that resistance energy because they've got walls up because they have to with this other situation they've got going on so it wasn't personal it wasn't personal um they want to come and and kind of be open-minded and and let their guard down and be very generous with you but again the energy they're in if it, it means if they let their guard down with you it means they're letting their guard down overall and they can't afford to do that because again they're protecting they're protecting themselves they're protecting themselves because of this situation they have to so again if this is you don't take it personally um they're talking about you being adaptable them being adaptable the situation adapting because there's a lot of changes going on here um and again they're trying to break out and be independent which they're doing but it needs to take a bit of time possibly or if things will take a little bit of time so again this is the shock is that they're considering what you're saying and they're, they're taking that into consideration but they're stuck in something at the moment pile three what is the revelation for pile three please that's a lot of cards do we really okay so we've got the mask so again you approaching them and then reacting in this way is a hundred percent a mask they're wearing because they have to they feel they have to with this person all right which makes kind of sense the resistance the defensive energy they being in their head this cutting of this sword and this snaky energy is because they're trying to understand and juggle what all this means all right they're trying to evolve into something that you know they can let their guard down at some point but until this energy is closed out they're, they're trying to just play very balanced logical cool energy as opposed to throwing their heart in and then having someone eating them alive because i feel like that's what they're worried about happening then we've got the river so we've got a very strong emotions running through them here so they want to desperately open up but they they can't but again they feel like you're helping them here with this mentor 
with this owl and this fiery energy i feel like possibly you're helping them move on you're helping them heal you're helping them to protect themselves and understand maybe you've been coaching them maybe you've been helping them but again all of this is helping them along um we've got the poet and paying attention to the red flags and closing it out so they may have been trying to close this out with someone and this person is evasive to the point where possibly there's a lot of charm being used maybe uh they don't know how to quite deal with it possibly um and then we've got the temple so maybe there's a this is their home life that they're trying to resolve because this maybe this person lives with them um and so it's making them very uncomfortable because look there's a dead end and they desperately can see that and so they're trying to you know resolve it as quickly as possible again we've got the crone so there's a, a, a the end the crone is um an older woman or older energy that's maybe a little bit bitter maybe a little bit it doesn't have to be bitter but um can you see she's holding on to the coin there so there could be this bitterness that's been building um spirit are kind of telling you to step away because i feel like this has to blow up a little bit um and again the medallion it's like they have to close out this contract this is a contract they're in so the shock is, is that this is closing out, but they're, you're kind of on the periphery of it. And it's like you've stepped into this energy and spirit is like, take a stand back because there's a lot going on. So part three, what is the revelation, please? So the revelation I feel at the moment is that you came back into this person's life and they were not expecting it. I feel. And so now they're having to kind of work through that and also close something out. The energy is never ending story. So they feel like they're stuck in a loop. All right. That's that's pile three. What is the situation for pile three? I've just looked at the clock. It was 010102. So again, we've got a bit of an imbalance here. So they know you and your energy is leading to some beautiful milk and honey. This is uh, abundance, but they can't afford to let this their guard down got serendipity so there's definitely going to be some lucky circumstances surrounding this it's going to aid this to move forward because we've got by the book so they're trying to be fair whilst this situation plays out all right and then we've got regeneration so this is about to take again this is very platonic energy very scorpionic energy so things are about to shift things are about to evolve we've got truth be told so there's definite truths coming out here with the number 14 card so it's a number five which is change so again we're in this transitional energy here pile three what is the revelation what is the surprise so yeah they could be resting trying to work out how to maneuver around this time for a nap because i think they're trying to close the situation out um so let's have a look at the angel answers part three please is a revelation the surprise of part three so the answer is no okay and then bottom of the deck is be assertive so maybe this is what they're learning to do is to say that the no to someone you know maybe they said it to you and they should have been saying it to the other person because maybe you were the safer option all right because saying no to this other person maybe have caused difficulties for them possibly let's have a look final card for three so again, I feel like they need to come into balance here because at the moment they're not. Meditation brings answers because they need to take action and they're not. And so things are getting worse. So let's have a look. Um, what else? Let's see. What is the revelation? Pile threes. What is the revelation for pile three? so the revelation is is that they were bowled over by your connecting to them it says unconditional love love yourself others and every situation no matter what the outward appearances may be so they're learning about unconditional love here at this time maybe they didn't have or understand that before and now they are understanding it we've got green tara start delegating so maybe they're totally bombarded with this situation we've got compassion so maybe they're understanding how compassion works and then we've got bright future so they're trying to be fair uh they're trying to be just possibly with the situation they're trying not to hurt you they're trying not to hurt someone else but they they know they have to make a decision pile three what is the revelation for pile threes wow responsibility take responsibility 
but responsibility for their own happiness. So this is what this person's learning, is it can't be anyone else to save them. It can't be anyone else to make them happy. They have to learn that and they have to take action. Angel of action, take action towards your destiny. So this is what they're learning now, okay? They're learning that they're going to have to make a move and close something out. Maybe you, maybe the other person. Now, if it's a twin flame, you know that this situation is going to happen, you know? So again, looks like an outcome is on its way for you guys. And the revelation is, is that there's a an action that is needing to be taken and it looks like it's the other person as opposed to you. Okay, guys, that's your reading. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Uh, catch me live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. British Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tara Neferati deck and a 30-minute reading is on offer. If you want to subscribe, like, and comment on at least one video, you'll be entered into a competition when we hit 1,000 subscribers. That person will be chosen at random to collect that prize. Catch me Saturday nights, Twitch. Link in the description box, 11 p.m. British Standard Time. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Psychic Sass days, and that's a two hours uh, live, usually at lives Monday, Wednesday, Friday on YouTube, our one hour lives. Guys, have a wonderful evening, day, wherever you are. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.